We cannot wait for the amazing Spider-Man 2 to hit theaters this May. We were inspired by a dessert just as wonderful as the superhero. We're making red velvet whoopie pies. On Just Add Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary treats that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. If you've never had a whoopie pie before, it's kind of like the cleverest way to enjoy cake. It's basically two round pieces of cake, or cookies sometimes, sandwiched around frosting. It is so good. And it starts with one box of yellow cake mix. I'm just gonna put that directly into my bowl. Then our water, oil, eggs, and then we're gonna put a box of instant chocolate pudding. You know, Red Velvet is known for having that nice, mild chocolate flavor, and this is not only gonna make it have that chocolate flavor, but also make them super moist. Then we're gonna give it a good mix. Next, add your red food coloring. Do a couple tablespoons just to give it a nice, bright red color, just like Spider-Man. We're gonna give it one final mix for about 45 seconds. You don't wanna over mix it. We just wanna incorporate enough air into this so our whoopie pies are nice and fluffy. Wow, there we go. And as you can see, this batter is really thick, but that's exactly what we want. So now we're ready to scoop our batter onto our baking sheet that I've already lined with parchment paper. And you can use a quarter cup measuring cup, or I like to use an ice cream scoop. But just spray it with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. It's a lot easier to work with. And you're gonna leave about two inches between each scoop because these are gonna puff up and flatten out slightly and you want plenty of room. The first time I made whoopie pies, I was a little intimidated, but they're actually easier than you think. Now we're gonna put these into the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. Once they're done baking, take them out and let them cool completely. We're gonna make a cream cheese marshmallow fluff frosting. It's really simple. I'm just gonna put one can of our fluff directly into the bowl. And you know, whoopie pies are notoriously known for that sweet, creamy filling. But since we're doing red velvet whoopie pies, I thought it would be great to have that cream cheese in there. And our cream cheese and a little vanilla. So I'm just gonna mix this until it's nice and fluffy. So now I'm just gonna put this into our piping bag, but look at the consistency, it's just so velvety. Oh, and I can smell that cream cheese. A great way to get all those air bubbles out of the frosting, is just to hit it against the counter a little bit. Give it a little snip at the bottom. All right, now we're loaded and ready to go. So you're just gonna put frosting on one side of the whoopie pie. And I like to start in the center. Work your way out. Do you really wanna see the filling on the edge when you put the top on the whoopie pie? Just like that. Wow, look how incredible these red velvet whoopie pies look. So good, and you can make these any time of the year. But since we're really excited to see Amazing Spider-Man 2, I'm gonna add a little Spider-Man touch to these whoopie pies. And by that, I mean a spider web. So I've already melted some white chocolate in a little bag. I'm just gonna give it a tiny little snip and then I'm gonna draw the web. And the easiest way to do this is to make a cross. Right on top. Then an X. And then you're gonna connect the lines with the web. These look incredible. These are just making my spidey sense tingle. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Once you're done piping on Spider-Man's web, just put them into the refrigerator and let them set for a little bit before you enjoy them. These Whoopie Pies look so incredible. They're soft and chewy and delicious. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Brandy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide. And let me know what your favorite Whoopie Pie is in the comment box below. See you next time, bye.